how to dress like Jennifer Aniston and get that California cool girl look. Hi ladies, it's Erin and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, welcome. I do upload two new videos every week, every Wednesday and Sunday. If you're a regular viewer, you will remember I did a video fairly recently where I channeled Meghan Markle's style. We picked three looks that she had worn recently and I recreated all three looks using pieces I have in my closet already. No shopping required, it's amazing. This idea started in my free private Facebook group called The Hive because a lot of the ladies in The Hive were taking photos of outfits they liked from Pinterest and then recreating those looks. And so I thought it would be really fun to take a celebrity or somebody that we're pretty familiar with and recreate three of their looks using pieces I already own. And as per usual, I will list all of the looks in the description box below. When I did the video on Meghan Markle, many of you messaged me, commented, and said, please, please do Jennifer Aniston. And then I thought, you know, I love Jennifer Aniston, but I've never really paid that close attention to her style. Like she's not somebody that I would like die to see what she's wearing on the red carpet. But the more I dove in and looked at pictures of her and what she was wearing, the more I sort of fell in love with her style. It definitely has this California cool girl vibe, like I said in the beginning, and there is this classic quality to it. It feels timeless, it feels effortless, and also it always feels undone. Like she's not too done up, she's not too anything. It's just, just the right amount of everything. Let's get started with look number one, which is so lovely. And this is totally something that I would wear, but not to the T. Like it definitely has her twists on it. Jennifer is wearing a navy double-breasted blazer with gold buttons, a white t-shirt, brown belt, blue jeans that are fairly fitted and skinny and tapered and she cuffed them at the bottom and then she's wearing just plain white sneakers. I recreated the look using a white crew neck t-shirt that I have. I tucked it in, paired it with a pair of jeans that I also cuffed. I have on my brown Valentino belt, just to add a little pizzazz. And it looks like she's carrying a brown kind of messenger bag or brown tote bag. So I just threw on this circle bag that I bought at Shop Bop a couple years ago. I can't remember the name of the brand, but I'll put a link to that below as well. And then I finished off the look on my feet with a pair of great leather sneakers. I think hers are canvas and mine are leather, so that's kind of the minor difference. But I really was able to almost recreate this look to the T because I did have this blazer, this navy blazer. This blazer, by the way, by Lion it is under $100, it's $88, and it's a Ponty knit. So it doesn't wrinkle, it's easy to care for, it's comfortable, it's casual. So I have the white one and the blue one that I wear a lot when I'm traveling. So I love this look for running errands, grocery store, and also just traveling. It's a great travel look. And then another one of Jennifer's signatures are the aviator sunglasses, and so I finished off the look with the aviator sunglasses. Okay, look number two is something I definitely would never put together, and that was really fun for me. It was really outside the box for me. It is a pair of cargo skinnies. Jennifer's wearing cargo skinnies, brown scrunchy boots, a brown belt, a black t-shirt, and a black leather jacket. It looks like her black leather jacket has a hoodie, but I don't have a black leather jacket with a hoodie. So what I did was put on a black crew neck t-shirt, a black leather jacket. This one's by Treasure and Bond. You guys might remember this from this summer's Nordstrom sale. I do have a pair of olive green cargo skinnies. These are by Blank NYC. And then I just happened to have a pair of scrunchy brown boots, which is really random. But even if you don't have the scrunchy brown boots, you could do any kind of brown booty. So I never would have thought I would have put olive green with the brown and black. Like I would definitely think of olive green with brown, but not olive green, brown, and black. But I absolutely love this combination. I think it's so fresh and cool and edgy and modern and great. Like I love it. I'm so happy that I put this together because I really would never have put it together otherwise. It's really cool. She is carrying some sort of black tote, so I just grabbed an old Henry Ben tote and that finished off the look. In the third look, Jennifer Aniston is wearing a dark green blazer with a really low cut, very lightweight camisole. 
and then a pair of black trousers and black pumps. I really love this look. It is very sleek and pretty, but then also, again, she has that cool factor, right? It doesn't feel too stuffy. It feels loose and easy breezy. And she really has perfected that look of California cool, that effortless vibe. And so I don't have a dark green blazer. So what I did instead was I grabbed my Legion's blue blazer, same concept. I paired that with a black camisole. This one is from Express from like two years ago and a pair of Ann Taylor trousers with some Ann Taylor pumps. And then she's got across the body, looks like a Chanel vintage bag. Mine is the Chanel boy bag. So there are slight modifications, but it is the same general concept and the same general pieces. I feel like she somehow looks a little bit cooler than I do. Like I always look a bit more buttoned up, but I think it's just my hair and my makeup versus her hair and her makeup. She always has that bronzy glow and her hair is very bronzy as well. So I feel like that kind of helps with that effortlessness. But I love this challenge. I love to be able to glean new inspiration for myself, help you glean new inspiration, new style inspiration, and also just to show you how you can shop your very own closet. There's really no need to go out and buy a ton of clothes. Just look at find some pictures, find somebody that inspires you, save it in a folder on your computer, go back to that folder, recreate those looks with the pieces you already have, or maybe it'll inspire you to buy certain pieces, but you don't always have to go out and buy new things. Just find new ways to invent or reinvent the pieces you already have. And that way you can shop your own closet. And I do have one bonus look for you. And it's just sort of like, for fun for me more and more than it was for you. I'm sure that you saw the photos of Jennifer Aniston and Brad Pitt at the SAG Awards backstage, having that moment. It was like all over the news, right? So she wore the silk bias cut dress. It's gorgeous. And so it reminded me so much of my wedding dress that I decided that I would pull it out of the box in the attic and throw that puppy on to show you <laughs> Another Jennifer Aniston inspired look, like here's me in my wedding dress and here's Jennifer Aniston in her sag or dress. Granted, mine really needs to be steamed and cared for a little bit, but it is the same general concept as the dress she wore to the SAG Awards. That is my wedding dress, everybody. <laughs> Okay, so whose style would you like me to recreate next? Name a celebrity, maybe a model, somebody in politics, could be a character from a film. Just tell me who you like to see me recreate next and put that in the comments below. And also tell me which look was your favorite? Which look do you think you will be trying or you would like to try and put that in the comments below? Is it one, two, or three? Or maybe four? <laughs> I don't think many of us are going to be having a moment where we wear a white silk bias cut dress unless you're getting married for a second time, but you never know, right? Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and I will see you next time. Bye.